Hi, my name is Zalinda. This is the level one video about plantar fasciitis. Um, plantar fasciitis, as you probably know, is an extreme pain in the bottoms of your feet. Um, you can feel this pain, especially when you wake up in the morning, you get out of bed and start to walk and the bottoms of your feet are very painful. Um, you also can feel, uh, you know, that tightness from plantar fasciitis after you've been sitting for a while and you get up, start moving around. Um, so um, I'm doing two levels of video for plantar fasciitis because in the level one video, I want to focus on kind of preliminary yoga practice that you can do if your body is very tight or if you're brand new to yoga. And then, um, you know, once you become proficient at the level one video, you can start to work on the level two video, which will have a little bit more challenging work that you can do to help uh, continue to resolve the pain that you're feeling in your feet. So for the level one video, we're going to be doing um, a practice that starts sitting in a chair. So please sit down in a chair. And um, what we're going to do first, well, let me give you a little bit of background information, actually, before we get started. Normally, um, the advice given for people who have plantar fasciitis is you need to stretch out your calves. And yes, that is um, definitely true. But in my experience, I found that it's actually beneficial to stretch out everything all the way up to your waist. So we're going to be doing some different things um, aside from just stretching out the lower legs. The first thing we're going to do is we're just going to practice extending one leg forward. And as you can see, I'm trying to touch the bottom, the sole of my foot down to the floor. So extend one, give it a break, and then extend the other. Try to bring the bottom of that foot down onto the floor. And you're just going to kind of, you know, walk in place, if you will, extending one at a time. You may feel stretching happening in the front of the leg. You may also feel some work happening in the back. None of this should feel, you know, very painful, but just like a little bit of stretching out. So you'll just walk back and forth a few times until you start to feel that that's loosening up a little bit. You want to make sure to do an even side on both legs. Or, you know, one thing that you can do is if you're suffering with plantar fasciitis more in one foot than the other, you might want to give that foot a little bit of extra time. So either hold it longer or do a few extra repetitions. The next thing we're going to work on is stretching out up here in the sides of the thighs and up into the glutes. And this one can be a little bit challenging um, for folks. So let's see how it goes. You're going to step your feet a little bit apart so that your ankles are aligned under your knee. And then cross either one. So you're just going to cross one ankle over the other knee and sit up tall. So this in itself can feel very challenging for people. If you find that you try this and your foot, your ankle will not rest on top of your knee, what you can do instead is use a second chair and rest your foot in the chair up here. This will be a more accessible position. You can rest your foot here. Once you get to the point where you're flexible enough that you can bring on top of the knee like this. You can challenge yourself more when you're ready by either sitting up really tall or once you get comfortable with that, you can add more intensity by leaning forward. And so you can see you want to keep your spine really long and lean forward, reaching your collarbones forward. And so that's going to give you a big stretch happening over here, mostly in the glutes, but you may feel some work also happening in the thigh. You want to hold it for a little bit. You see, I've been talking for probably, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. Um, kind of as a way to buy time so that you can, you know, have enough time to get some benefit from the posture. But if you're doing this on your own and without the video, you want to stay here for, uh, I would say, at least five full slow breaths before switching over to the other side. So let's go ahead and do that. Switch over. See if it's possible on this side to sit up really tall. And then if you're ready for more challenge, you can lean forward a little bit. And so stay here and breathe, and I'll breathe a little bit loud so that you can hear kind of the pace of breathing and what you're trying to do when you're stretching out doing yoga postures. Okay, good. And then we'll go ahead and come on back up, release that foot down, just shake your legs out a little bit in case they're tired. All right, um, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to actually stand up and then turn your chair or turn yourself so that you're facing your chair. 
and we're going to use the chair as a support for forward folding. So one important thing that we want to do is stretch out the backs of the legs. So with this current stretch that we're about to do and with the next one, that's going to be the emphasis of these next two postures. So um, we've got lots of options here. We're going to forward fold. If you are a person who's very flexible, you might be able to bring your hands down to your feet or to the floor. But for most people, that doesn't work. So what we're going to do instead is bring our fingertips onto the seat of the chair just to give ourselves some support here so we can stretch out the back side of the body. If that feels comfortable, you can start to bring your palms down onto the chair. And then eventually, when you feel comfortable with this and you're ready for more challenge, you can even walk your hands down to a lower part of the chair. So that gives you plenty of options of how to do this practice. Um, some notes about this one. You want to make sure you're not locking out your knees. Just keep a tiny bit of bend. We call it a little bit of softness in the knees. Um, yeah, and then try to keep your shoulders relaxed and your neck as well. All right, so you're going to do this one. You're going to hang out for, you know, just like we did before, four or five breaths. And then the last posture we're going to work on, we're going to actually turn the chair around. And we're going to work on what I call a half downward facing dog. Um, if you have watched yoga videos before, you probably know what a downward facing dog looks like. Normally the hands are on the floor, the feet are on the floor, and the body's forming like a triangle. But what we're going to do is a little bit different. We're actually going to try to shape the body like an upside down L, more or less. So you bring your hands onto the back of your chair or maybe even onto a kitchen countertop, if that's convenient, or your bathroom countertop or kitchen table, something like that. You're going to walk your feet back, not too far, just enough so that your heels are under your sitting bones. Your sitting bones are here at the, you know, the back of you, the top of your legs. And you're going to try to reach your hips back while you're reaching your arms forward. We're going to keep a little bit of bend in the knees like we did earlier. And we're going to, we're, you know, what we're doing is stretching out the back side of the body. So you may feel a lot of stretching happening in your calves or in the back of your knees or in the back of your thighs or even up into the glutes. We're just going to hang out here for a few breaths. And then when you're ready for a break, walk forward. And bring yourself back up to standing and just shake your legs out a little bit. All right, perfect. So that's everything. Four postures that you can do. The first one, I'm just going to do a quick review with you, is stretching out by bringing the soles of the feet down onto the floor. And we're straightening the knee when we do that. You could, even if you're in a rush for time, do both at the same time and just kind of um, flex to relax and then point your feet or bring the bottoms of your feet down to stretch out the front of the leg and maybe even in the calves. The second one is where we're stretching out the glutes and the hips and the thighs by crossing one ankle over the other knee. Then we did the standing forward fold, resting the hands on the chair. And finally, the half downward facing dog. So you might be wondering, how often should I be doing this? You can probably do this whole practice in about five to seven minutes. If you have more time, I would definitely recommend doing all of the poses twice. And if you're really motivated, you might even consider doing these in the morning and in the evening. So you're doing four rounds per day. All right, good. So hopefully this um, level one video starts to bring you some relief when you start to become more flexible. If you're still dealing with the tightness and the um, pain in the bottoms of your feet, please check out our level two video.